Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So, in a shrinking segment of the family sedans, there are still some great choices to choose from. But one car that tops all the competition in its segment is this, the Honda Accord. So in today's video, you and me are going to be finding out everything in detail about this 2021 Honda Accord. But before we move forward, I will be reviewing the car for you while you have to go down and press that subscription button and also make sure to press that bell icon and leave all the notifications on so that way you will never miss any video updates from my channel. So the particular model that I am reviewing is the Honda Accord Sport which has a 2 litre turbo and it's the only option available while the rest of the options are available in a 1.5 litre turbocharged engine. But before we begin, let me first mention about this paint job because this color is called as the sonic gray pearl and it looks absolutely fantastic this new color and it is available across all the model range so you should definitely check this color out so let me begin from the front so you get this black color glossy grill out here and this is the the changes in the new 2021 model which is like a wider grill and there is also chrome strip uh, the horizontal ones that you can see out here there's also a big dark chrome uh, strip that goes on from one end to the other with the Honda badging and the chrome that they have given is a little darker chrome and not the usual shiny one even at the bottom you would see a little bit of changes in the bumper design and then this black color a uh, plastic uh, glossy one which has been given which houses this fog light which are led fog lights now there are also vents given on both the sides at the edge of it and i'm happy to report those are the real vents so air just flows from here and you know uh, goes out from the side so it reduces all the you know drag and all around these wheels and the main headlight cluster is an led headlight cluster it's a complete led headlight cluster at the bottom you would find the drls and on the top you would find the turn signal another thing that you would notice is that there is a break in the grill in between with this black rectangular thing so that is one of the sensors for the uh, safety systems and also the adaptive cruise control but yeah it just feels not like you know in place like because of that break in the grill i mean i wish it was like more smoother where the grill was just continued and you know that sensor you know that whatever that rectangular thing is was placed like in between the two grills let me know in the comment section below what do you think about that so on this sport version of the honda accord you get 18 inch alloy rims in this black and silver design the five spoke design it looks really nice on you know this particular model and then again a part of the sport package are these black color side mirrors they are glossy black plastic covered and the side mirrors are power foldable but they don't have the blind spot warning inside them they are also power adjustable at the bottom you would notice this skirting yeah which the whole side profile is meant to look more aggressive you know in this sports setup and then you get this half chrome surround around these uh, windows and extends till the back while these doors are smart keyless entry doors so only the front two ones are you know smart keyless entry doors and one line thick line that continues from the front and goes till the back or while also you will get as a part of the sport package this black color small spoiler in this glossy black plastic and also in the back you would notice this shark fin black color antenna which is again a part of the sport package in the back you get these c-shaped tail lights and the tail lights is a mixture of led and halogen so the turn signals are halogen while the uh, braking lights and all are uh, led there is also this accord badging and also the 2.0 t sport badging 2.0 t is basically the turbocharged engine and also the honda badging out here and at the bottom you would find these reflectors out here on both the sides and when you go down you would see these twin exhaust tips which are like the chromed ones i i i really hope that these were the blacked out ones because then they would go really you know with the sport package of this uh, you know honda accord i don't know let me know in the comment section below what do you think and these tips are also like the rectangular ones so yeah not the round ones or anything and when you come to the visibility it's actually pretty decent although a little restricted because of the two thick pillars and also you know the glass which is sloping in the back when you come to the boot space in this current setup you can put 570 liters of luggage in the back and it's relatively just flat there is nothing hindering it or anything but the only thing is the boot space is a the floor actually is a little raised up so yeah 
that's like a bit of a thing and which is why it makes it more of a horizontal space you know longer one but at the bottom when you lift the boot floor you would find a full size spare wheel which has been given on this accord along with the tool kits and everything there are also scruff plates plastic ones which are given so that you don't damage your you know this beautiful paintwork bumper out here and uh, behind there are some more hooks and you know on both the side also these rear seats are foldable and in order to do that there are straightforward you know levers given out here so you just pull them from both the sides but you have to push the seats from here but yeah you can't really do that because the boot is really long so you have to go in the back and then drop them off so yeah it still is like you know pretty much like you know you just pulling the lever from the rear seats and then falling making them fall down but yeah nonetheless when you uh, fold them down also there's a bit of a space that opens up for longer objects that is pretty much it but yeah there are like thick you know arches on the side which hinder the overall usage of that boot space so yeah only for longer objects that you can use that there is not much of a step also like there is only sm small step but that has been you know covered with the carpet lining so it makes it smooth for your objects to slide in and out now on the inside of the 2021 honda accord there are a few subtle changes that have been given on the interior side and one of it being that now the gear lever has disappeared and now you have the button operated controls for shifting so this similar mechanism was also available in the honda odyssey touring so you can click on the pop-up banner out here and you can watch the full detailed review video of that odyssey as well and in this it's very easy you just press you know the reverse button neutral and the drive and also you can go into the park button so very easy and also essentially it you know frees up the space out here and nothing is hindering your you know center console that way and when it comes to the quality of material the the interior is completely blacked out and i'm really glad because it goes really well with the paint job which is this uh, you know crystal gray color which has been given on this accord so yeah you get soft touch you know material on the dashboard out here and even on the door cards there is soft touch material on the side at the bottom only you would find plastic out here even out here at the bottom plastic out here it's plastic but this one is again a little soft touch this one where you're going to be resting your legs also while you know uh, traveling yeah that's also softer so all the touch points are gladly you know soft touch material that they have provided there's also this plastic trim which has been given glossy one looks like a carbon fiber and you know some weaving and inside but yeah it looks all right then not really you know out of place because it's a dark color so no complaints about that there's also this cover for some storage out here normal plastic covering which has been given more you know that same dark uh, gray color plastic which has been given around these cup holders so yeah overall good quality of material and even the fit and finish is pretty good there are no gaps or anything in between of any panels or anything and when it comes to the driver's display now you would find normal speedometer on right side which is the analog you know dial which has been given and on the left side you would find the 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 digital display which has been given on the left side which can be customized so a lot of options that you can see on that screen so you can go and see your tachometer and then you can see your range and fuel where it will show you all the details about your trip and then you can also see the speed and time of uh, you know how long you've been driving this vehicle then the audio option in which you can control all your audio features your phone options phone to control the phone and then the navigation option which shows your compass and you know the direction in which you're going and all then there is the driving support and also there is the driver attention monitor so it uh, it monitors you know how sleepy you are based on your driving conditions and the maintenance safety support and the warning so yeah very easy and you know they have a bit of a graphics also going on so yeah you can just select and you know select the, uh, the, the whichever information you want to see and in the center you would find fixed set of information like your digital speed and the drive mode that you are in and also it will show you the adaptive cruise control and the lane keep assist that this accord comes with so that information also you can see but also there is also a heads up display which has been given and on that the buttons are given on the steering wheel itself so you can click on that and you can see different bit of information like you know the tachometer digital one then also your uh, adaptive cruise control your uh, you know the lane keep assist and also the digital compass 
navigation which is and then you come back to the tachometer but one more easier option is on the left side they've given a button for the heads up display when you press that you can switch off the heads up display directly and also button to adjust the height of it so yeah pretty easy that way and then you know combination of you know buttons given everywhere so you can easily figure out how to use the heads up display now when it comes to this steering wheel this is a leather covered steering wheel with the honda badging in the center and some more you know silver trims at the bottom lining and and even around these buttons while on the right side you would find the controls for your adaptive cruise control your lane keep assist and all these buttons that you can switch on and off and also the heads up display to change the information and on the left side you would find the controls for your uh, media and all the infotainment controls and also the communication controls and also you can change all the information on your driver's display from this you know buttons which are given on the left side and also the steering wheel is manually adjustable which is your tilt and telescope it's, it's also got the sporty version so it's a little uh, you know padded one also with the nice bit of you know finger support out here now on this steering wheel you would also find the paddle shifters which are plastic ones and they are a little smaller to my liking and also there's no way to you know put this car into paddle shifting mode it's just that when you're driving automatically you have you just have to keep pressing these paddle sets and you know take the manual control otherwise it will automatically go into the you know automatic mode now when it comes to this air conditioning controls you get straight forward button operated system i'm glad about it like you know they haven't still moved on to you know the fancy screen system where you have to go inside the screen and press all the you know air conditioning controls. but anyways uh, this is all uh, you know button operated system so you get straight forward dials for your on and off for your air conditioning controls and then that same uh, dial can control the fan speed also and on both the sides you would find the controls for your temperature so on this accord you get dual zone air conditioning system and uh, the buttons also have a nice bit of clicking sound to it so yeah that's a really satisfying sound and there are also led rings behind these buttons on both the sides for your temperature control so when you decrease the temperature it turns into blue and when you increase the temperature it turns into red to show you that you know it's a hotter or a cooler so while driving it's actually very convenient feature you know because you can see these rings and you can see like you decrease the temperature or increase the temperature and on either sides of this air conditioning controls you would find the buttons for your heated and the cooled ventilated seat options which you get on this honda accord now when you come to this infotainment screen this infotainment screen is an eight inch colorful display which has been given and this was also present in the previous generation of the honda accord and on this they maintain that same operating system in fact this is one of the top three you know systems that i would put in you know the best uh, infotainment systems that you can get on any car because yeah it's a very plain and simple simplified it's fast also doesn't take time to load or anything but the only thing is that this screen has a little bit of inclination towards you know the roof side so yeah when you are driving during a bright daylight i don't know why they did, did that so you know give that angle to the screen so yeah it, it, it kicks back a little bit of glare you know from the the screen surface because it's a glossy one but nonetheless it's quite all right otherwise but uh, yeah the screen is a it's quite easier to use there are also dials given on both the sides for your volume and also the scroller on the right side and there are also shortcut buttons which are given on both the sides for your home back your brightness the track changer map telephone audio source all of it so uh, the main infotainment screens uh, contains options for your navigation which you go inside and the navigation system is all right it's snappy enough that is once it loads properly then it is quite quick otherwise yeah no complaints about that and then there is also the phone option where you go and you can see all your calls sms and messages and all of that then there is the setting options in which you will find all the detail options for your uh, systems associated inside the car your display sound vehicle camera you know all these options that you can change from here then there is the fm option and where you will find the radio control so you can change all of that from here then the bluetooth audio option and then the next option is the smartphone connection option so in terms of the connectivity on this honda accord you can connect to the infotainment system using the bluetooth there's also a usb port and there is also android auto and apple carplay but those are wired and not the wireless version then continuing you get the traffic announcement system and there is also the trip computer which has been given where you can see your trip a trip b information then you go to the next menu usb one two when you have connected a pen drive you can see the information then the am and the digital 
digital audio you know damp system the clock where you can change all the clock settings and there's also a, st a stock wallpaper setup where you can see your clock and then behind you can change all the you know customize the wallpaper and the background also you can change all these apps from by clicking the all apps button and then you can you know shuffle the menu options inside this infotainment screen as well and the the reason for these color codes is that if you observe what the red ones is for the navigation so anything related to navigation is red color then the blue ones are for the media or any announcements so which is why all the usb and all these options are blue colored and the yellow ones are for your settings and your trip so anything related to the settings or the car information related systems then it's all in yellow and then the phone is in green so yeah which is why you have these color coded you know the icons on your screen there are also shortcut buttons on top for your phone your navigation your fm and also the media controls now when it comes to the storage in the door cards you can put one liter worth of bottle in the door cards and some more storage on the side while out here in the center there is this storage in which you can store your phone and like you know your wallets or anything like it's a small storage there are two cup holders which are given out here they are flexible cup holders but they are still a little too big which is what i found so you know smaller cups will you know dangle a little bit inside there is also this glove box which has been given nice and easy but it has already got these fat manuals out here and there is this center armrest in which you can put like you know three four half a liter worth of bottle it's pretty big that way and also if you observe this uh, door for this handrest stays where it is so you can you know keep it and then yeah that's one thing and it won't just fall down directly there is also a tray which has been given i don't know it's very small tray i don't know what you can put on it like your keys or anything but yeah nonetheless it's a good amount of handrest that they have given and in the back you can put one and a half liter worth of bottle in the door cards on both the sides and also there are two cup holders which are given in the center armrest now on this honda accord you get a normal sunroof which opens quite quickly and it's decently sized now when it comes to the charging you get two normal usb ports given in the front and one 12 volt power socket next to it there is also a wireless charger which has been given so there is also a button on and off for it uh, it's quite easy to you know operate and then there are two more usb ports which are given for the rear passenger but they are not for the connectivity but only for the charging purposes and then there is one more 12 volt power socket which is given in the center armrest now there are additional buttons given on the left side for your traction control and also the safety systems which you can directly you know uh, go in and change all the settings for your lane keep assist your uh, you know collision warnings and all of that so yeah straight forward button which has been given for that and there are two more buttons given in the center console for your sport and eco mode which has uh, been given on this accord so you get three different driving modes which is your eco your normal and the sport and both the buttons are given directly so you can directly switch from eco to normal and sport to normal so yeah pretty convenient that way in terms of the shifting of the driving mode now when it comes to these seats these are black color perforated leather seats with the black colored stitching and they are pretty decently padded also like the bottom and even in the back so it gives you nice bit of comfort during the longer journeys they also have these side supports in them and even at the bottom they have these side supports but yeah so to make it a little more sporty because yeah it's like a sporty version but nonetheless they are also comfortable as well during the longer journeys while the driver side seat is 12 way electronically adjustable and which includes your four way lumbar control as well and the passenger side seat is just eight way electronically adjustable with no lumbar control and also you have the sun visors which can be extended also so yeah they give you nice bit of coverage on the sides when it's a hot day well the accord is known for being a spacious car and this is quite evident when you sit in the rear seats because look at this the amount of uh, knee room that i have i mean even the headroom is decent although someone about six feet may start brushing their head against this roof because it's, it's a it's a sloping one but you can even slide your legs under the seat there is ample of space so you can stretch it during the longer journeys and if you notice there is not much of a tunnel out here there's only a small one but not that much that can hinder you know the middle passenger so when i sit in the middle because these seats are quite soft and comfortable so you can still sit like i am still like you know uh, sitting out here with 
decent amount of headroom like about four fingers worth of you know room out here so yeah it's not bad but yeah definitely i wouldn't recommend for uh, longer journeys but otherwise yeah it's it's decent for short journeys there's also a bit of a cut out out here which gives that extra bit of you know headroom for taller passengers when there is no middle passenger you can drop down this hand rest which which seems to be a little on the lower side and it's also like kind of sloping downwards but nonetheless yeah it's quite big and broad and you will find two cup holders normal cup holders the standard size ones out here there is also this cover for it so yeah you can close it when you're not going to be using it so you can utilize this entire hand rest and when there is a passenger you can fold it up there are also two usb ports as i mentioned standard ones but only for charging and then two vents which are given and only you can control the flow of air and the direction of air in the back you get these plastic door cards now instead of the soft touch ones which were given in the front uh, driver and the passenger side but yeah you get plastic ones and in one at the bottom it's plastic but you can put like one and a half liter worth of bottle and tiny bit of storage on the side there are also these uh, seat pockets which are given on both the sides on the driver and the passenger side but yeah overall it's a decent space and you get a lot of leg room and also the knee room to you know uh, stretch your legs during the longer journeys now the seats in the back are also black color leather seats which have black color stitching and they are also perforated but they are just for the design purposes they are not the cooling or the heated ones so this 2021 honda accord sport is powered by a 2 liter four cylinder inline dohc turbocharged engine that produces 247 horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque and this engine is mated to a 10 speed automatic gearbox that sends the power to the front wheel so this is a front wheel drive car now the torque basically is delivered between 1500 to 3500 range so it's actually the torque delivery is pretty quick and it actually just flattens out very quickly at 3500 rpm but yeah that's usually where you are going to be you know usually using this band range when you are going to be you know driving this accord so yeah it's a very punchy engine i would say because it's really got the power it's got a smooth delivery and it's also got a nice bit of uh, you know gear shifts so you don't realize that you are going through 10 gears you know in this gearbox because yeah they are pretty smooth you don't really feel the turbo lag because the 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 the, the torque is really instant from you know 1500 rpm and even the power delivery is really smooth now there are also different modes on this one which is your eco mode and also the sport mode so when i put this in the sport mode there's also animation that comes up on your dial the on the on the left side which turns into a little bit red and then to make you, you know realize that you are in the sport mode and now when i put it into sport mode it really feels a lot of difference you know because yeah the the engine now becomes really responsive like the moment you press yeah the throttle it becomes really punchy and then utilizes all of that rpm range yeah now it's a real fast one after that and this two liter really pumps that 247 horsepower and then it makes it every horsepower worth it like you know pushing that much so yeah it picks up speed quite quickly but yeah it's the sport mode and the normal mode definitely have a difference which you can feel and not like you know the other cars where you would just you know not really feel what has really happened so yeah there's a bit of stiffening of the steering wheel yeah and even the shifts have become quicker and even the engine becomes more peppy that way so yeah real nice work you know in terms of the difference between the two modes now when it comes to the efficiency from this two liter engine so on a normal city driving you would get anywhere between you know 9.5 to 10.5 kilometers per liter or even 11 yeah that's inside the city but when you go on a longer cruise you can get like 12.5 to 13 kilometers per liter which is pretty decent for you know uh, a car that can do pretty much a lot of things like you know ferry around people and also go fast when you put it in the sport mode so yeah it's really fun car to drive that way especially the front wheel drive doesn't feel like that now when it comes to the suspensions they are somewhere between hard and the soft side so they are well balanced that way because you get a very comfortable drive when you are cruising along and there is also not much of a roll from you know the car it's actually quite you know well balanced so it shifts its weight very nicely and it's quite poised also in fact let me do a slalom and show you like yeah it 
changes the direction quite quickly it's yeah i can actually feel like the car pointing aggressively you know in whichever way i am trying to turn it around so yeah really good you know the sort of uh, direction that you get on this one and when it comes to the steering this is also a really good thing on this accord because it's a really pointy thing like you know you know exactly what is happening there's good amount of feedback from it and then there is also good weight to it because yeah in these you know modern days where you have electronic steering that that feeling of you know feedback and you know that that heaviness to the steering is slowly starting to go away in the name of comfort but yeah on this because it's a sport it's really nice like you know you feel every single corner you know underneath you know your car like through those tires it's it's giving you a lot of feedback so yeah really good job with the the steering setup now when it comes to the brakes you get four disc brakes on this accord and in terms of the performance let me do 100 to 0 emergency brake test oh, oh, oh. whoa yeah so they grip very well and even the pedal set is really nice because the pedal has like gradual travel it's not like instant when you just put your foot and then you know it directly grips those uh, yeah brakes nothing sort of that now when it comes to the noise and the vibrations there's not much of vibrations but there are only minor vibrations that come through your seat through the chassis especially when the engine is idling there's a bit of rattling you know that goes on underneath the seat which you can feel but when you are like going and when you are rolling so yeah that's it just stops and then everything becomes smooth and when it comes to the noise there's slight bit of you know road noise from the tires and if it's a very windy day you would hear a little bit of whooshing around these windows but not that much like an alarming sort of whooshing or anything but yeah you do feel some amount but yeah tire noise is something which you would feel a little bit especially at higher speeds and when it comes to the safety systems on this 2021 honda accord you get six airbags two for the front driver and the passenger two side airbags for the driver and the passenger two curtain airbags mounted in the pillar there's also child isofix points in both the rear seats there is also abs there's also tire pressure monitoring system so there's also honda's lane watch so there is like a camera which is mounted in the right uh, side mirror so whenever you're going to be taking a right turn it will show you on your infotainment screen so you can you know you don't have to move your head onto the right side to see the view but it instead shows you but the camera quality is kind of all right because it's got a little bit of dark patches especially at night and yeah the camera quality needs to improve you know and pretty much all the honda cars come with that lane watch uh, you know assisting system so yeah if they improve that yeah it's a really good system and also you can switch on that lane watch feature if you want specifically just to get a side view then yeah there's a button given on the left side so you press that and then you can you know watch that directly and there is also a single camera reversing system and the output from that again is pretty decent it's it's a little grainy that way because the screen quality is really nice if they improve the quality of camera yeah the output will be really nice from that reversing camera system now when it comes to the pricing the base version of the honda accord comes in at anywhere around 96,900 dirhams and the top spec which is this one a two liter sport is offered at 139,900 dirhams now the thing is the honda accord offers an in impeccable driving experience it's also practical it's also got a lot more space and it offers a value for money definitely when you you know buy a mid-size sedan because it's loaded with every single option that you would want from a modern day car the thing is if the honda accord does not feature in the top three shortlisted uh, mid-size uh, sedans that you are looking for then i think you have actually got your short listings wrong because it's a really good car that deserves to be in that top three you know list of you know mid-size sedans that you are looking for anyways that is pretty much it for this video give this video a thumbs up and thank you for watching this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel then you can click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye take care and stay safe